every day the man is on a national platform. This is despite them as MK saying that the mainstream media does not want anything to do with MK. But these people are on television, they are on radio each and every day. But still they talk about the fact that the mainstream media does not like them. So thank you, Fikile Mbalula. Thank you, African National Congress, for bringing us Jacob Zuma. Thank you for making MK and for making Jacob Zuma relevant. Today, we are talking about MK. Today, there is not a single day where the South Africans cannot talk about MK. Man, I almost feel sad. The way Jacob Zuma has been slapping these people around, man. Jacob Zuma has been slapping ANC around ever since the announcement of Um The African National Congress has been throwing tantrums, and Jacob Zuma has been like, Whoa, stop! Whoa, stop! Like at this point, taking Jacob Zuma to court is absurd and it is not a good look for the ANC. I would advise these people to beat Jacob Zuma and MK at the polls. Jacob Zuma went to Eastern Cape this past weekend and people did not attend his rally. MK is going to a couple of places and they like they are starting to realize that maybe Jacob Zuma is only popular in KZN. Maybe Jacob Zuma is only popular in KZN or some few parts in Johannesburg. But it's not popular across the country. And ANC needs to take that as a motivation and to say that, man, actually this guy does not have support. This guy only has support in the KZN. Did you see the MK rally in the Eastern Cape over the weekend? How many people actually went to the stadium? I think like what, 30 people? 30 people, I think, went to the stadium. They did not support Jacob Zuma. The people of Eastern Cape are loyal supporters of the African National Congress. You know how they work there in the Eastern Cape. They vote for the African National Congress. Then they leave Eastern Cape to go and live in the Western Cape where the DA runs. They come back, they talk nonsense about the DA, they vote for the ANC, and they go back to where the DA governs. This is how it rolls in the Eastern Cape. So I think the African National Congress needs to look at what happened with Jacob Zuma over the weekend to say, man, maybe this man does not have support all across South Africa. Because if you were mistaken, you would actually think that everywhere where Jacob Zuma goes, people will go out in large numbers. You would think that every time, when the announcement comes that Jacob Zuma is coming to such and such places, you would think that people will go to that place, man, in, in, in high numbers. But th this is not the case. Jacob Zuma went to a couple of places and people did not actually arrive. You remember when Jacob Zuma went to Kwa Kwa, when Jacob Zuma went to Eastern Cape recently? People did not pull up in such high numbers. It's only in KZN or few parts in Johannesburg where you would actually see Jacob Zuma supporters. So the ANC needs to beat Jacob Zuma at the polls. If you say that this MK party is a fake MK party, if you believe what Jacob Zuma is doing is nothing but a distraction to the ANC, beat him at the polls. Beat him at the polls. This talk that Jacob Zuma is coming back and MK is going to govern the country, do not listen to the people of this country. When they tell you that MK is going to govern this country, you are ANC. Jacob Zuma said that the ANC will govern until Jesus comes back. Show Jacob Zuma that his words were correct. <laughs> we have been doing ANC work. <laughs> MK has invaded our space. And uh, we're doing... How has MK invaded your space? <laughs> what is right with defending what belongs to us and it's not uh, it's not uh, spending time on any book uh, if uh, Zuma created the party and he called it uh, Zuma come back we wouldn't have challenged him even if we lose the trademark we will appeal it that's what we will do because uh, that is the trademark of the African National Congress we don't spend time on, on, on any other political party we campaign daily and that is what we've been doing. What they have done, they've invaded our space. They are an irritation uh, for what they are doing, irritating us, knowing very well that this belongs to us. And then we stand up for what is good for our membership and the ANC history. Legal recourse allows you to appeal whatever judgment is handed down. That's within your constitutional right as the organization. And guys, I think again we need to talk about how important it is for us to remind people not to talk bad about our judiciary. You remember when ANC took MK to court over the copyright, the Jacob Zuma supporters came out and said that if ANC wins the cases, 
it means that the judiciary has been captured by Ramaphosa. But the same Ramaphosa has lost two cases against MK. And there is nothing that the supporters of Jacob Zuma are saying right now. Because this is something that they have been saying for the longest time. That the judiciary is captured by Ramaphosa. They have been saying that for the longest time. But the same judiciary has allowed them to compete in the elections. The same judiciary has allowed them to stay in the ballot. So what are they going to say? What are they going to say? And I think it's, it's important for us to highlight how dangerous it is to allow people to go around and talking bad about our judiciary and saying that the judiciary is captured by such and such. Because when they win the court cases, the judiciary is not captured. But when they lose the court cases, then the judiciary is captured. But some within the NC are saying this is sidetracking you in a way. It's taking your energy away from campaigning and fighting one of the hardest elections yet. My energy has been on the ground. I've never been sidetracked as a person. I implement what is the decision of the ANC and that is what I do. And one of those decisions was to challenge MK party. And uh, if uh, my energy is being spent, is spent on one thing, it's incorrect. Where am I now? Where is my energy now? I'm standing in the middle of a street in Mikhailin, campaigning hard. And then where was I yesterday? Where was I yesterday of yesterday? Not sleeping, campaigning. And then uh, do I spend my time thinking about Zuma? He thinks about us all the time. I don't think about him. I challenge him. He knows that um, Konto belongs to us. And uh, he's not our manifesto. Sure. And uh, that is what we, we, we don't do. And okay. uh, I don't go here and tell people. <clears throat> I've, I've, I've been out to how many houses now? Many houses. Ne? Nobody told me about Zuma. The MK, because it is a factor you may downplay that but it is a factor that you have suffered back to back losses and we are running out of time the elections are fast approaching i uh, 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 i am not uh, spending and we are not spending any time where am i now i'm in mikhilay mm. and then the people but figlam balula man don't lie you speak about jacob zuma at every single time you get <laughs> you do speak about jacob zuma man ever since jacob zuma has launched umkoto season you have been talking about jacob zuma at every single time I don't remember. I don't remember you being on stage and not talking about Jacob Zuma. You have been talking about Jacob Zuma. Actually, Jacob Zuma has actually won in terms of distracting you guys from campaigning for your own political party. Because right now, instead of the ANC campaigning, almost all the ANC officials they are talking about um Kontovesiso and what Jacob Zuma is doing and what Jacob Zuma is supposed to be doing and what Jacob Zuma is not supposed to be doing. You are not campaigning as usual. You just be honest, man. This 2024 election cycle is not a, a, a regular election cycle for the African National Congress, more especially for you as the Secretary General of the party, because you have been talking about Zuma every single time. I don't remember Fikilim Balula being on stage. Guys, do you remember the last time Fikilim Balula was on stage and not talking about um controversies? I don't I, I, I don't remember Fikilim Balula being on stage and not talking about um controversies. And today um controversies it is such a big deal. And thanks to the African National Congress because other political parties were not paying attention to Jacob Zuma. We already know Jacob Zuma's record. Jacob Zuma has been the president of the country. We know how the presidency was like under Jacob Zuma. We know how destroyed the country got under Jacob Zuma. So we didn't need to focus more on Jacob Zuma. But because of you, Figlin Balula, and some of the members in the ANC, you guys are talking about Jacob Zuma at every single turn. And now you are trying to downplay it and make it look like, no, Jacob Zuma is the one that is obsessed about us. But we are not obsessed about Jacob Zuma. No, you are obsessed about Jacob Zuma. You are obsessed about Jacob Zuma because if it wasn't for you, more, you especially, Fikilim Balula, MK would not, be a bi would not be a big deal today. Almost everyone was not paying attention to Jacob Zuma when this whole MK fake party started. No one was paying attention to Jacob Zuma, but only you. Only you. You were talking so much about Jacob Zuma. And how Jacob Zuma is a thug. Jacob Zuma stole this and this from ANC. The ANC is going to make sure that Jacob Zuma does not campaign. The ANC is going to make sure that Umkondo Esizo is not on the ballot. This is all you. This is all you. The fact that right now Umkondo Esizo people are talking about it every day. It's on you, Fikilem Balul. It's on you and the ANC and whoever sent you to go after Jacob Zuma. Because if you have just decided to ignore Jacob Zuma, I don't think MK would be a would be a would be a big deal today. 
But MK is a big deal today because of what? Because of you guys talking about it. Even the president tried not to talk about MK, but I see even Ramaphosa is like, ah, man, what the hell? Let's talk about it. Since Jacob Zuma wants to talk about me at every single time, let me as well talk about Jacob Zuma. So ANC is the one that made MK relevant because other political parties were not paying attention to Jacob Zuma. Other political parties, they know that South Africans know what MK did. They know, we know what Jacob Zuma did. We know how the country was like under Jacob Zuma. Just because Ramaphosa is a terrible president, it doesn't mean that Jacob Zuma was a good president. It doesn't mean that Jacob Zuma was a good president. Many people in the country actually understood that. We understood that just because Ramaphosa is a terrible president, it doesn't mean that Jacob Zuma is an angel. But you guys gave him the airtime. You guys gave him the platform. You spoke about him at every single turn. Right now, the, 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 the spokesperson of MK is always on, 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 on the national platforms. Every day, the man is on a national platform. This is despite them as MK saying that the mainstream media does not want anything to do with MK. But these people are on television, they are on radio each and every day. But still, they talk about the fact that the mainstream media does not like them. So thank you, Fikile Mbalula. Thank you, African National Congress, for bringing us Jacob Zuma. Thank you for making MK and for making Jacob Zuma relevant. Today, we are talking about MK. Today, there is not a single day where the South Africans cannot talk about MK. And it is all thanks to you. People are not even thinking about what you are asking me about. <laughs> and then you are saying I'm spending time. Who's asking me about MK? It's you. You are invading my space, <laughs> uh, chasing me about Zuma, whom I'm dealing with him in court. Yeah. Yes, I lo I've lost those particular cases and all of that. Uh, water under the bridge, and that is it. You are chasing me, asking me about Zuma in the middle of my campaigning. And then you tell me that I'm thinking about him. Hell, I dreamt well last night. <laughs> and then I dreamt about the victory of the ANC. And I'm feeling good yes. about the people here yeah. talking about the ANC, the challenges and robust with us about what we need to do more. I am over the mountain. Does that concern you? I've been campaigning here. I've never seen those people you are talking about. I'm here. I've not seen any one of the people you are talking about. John Hayes stays head. I'm not worried about it. Uh, John Hayes stays head. There are people who are campaigning. They are posters, but they don't have people on the ground. I'm here. I'm on the ground, door to door. Yeah, in Mikiling, fixed back. The people of Mikiling, I'm talking to them in the houses. And then uh, we've been touching base with them more than 10 times. So we're, we're, we don't see them. We are not worried about opponents. Uh, we will see the scoreboard uh, on the 29th. We're not worried. We do what we do. We account to the people. And it is that time of accountability. We're and Fikile Mbalula is right, guys. <laughs> you see, when it comes to campaigning on the ground, a lot of political parties are not, are not visible on the ground. Fikile Mbalula is telling the truth. We can only see the posters there and there. But these political parties are not on the ground. I don't even remember even where I stay. Where was the last time I saw the leader of a different political party? The last time we saw a real leader of a political party it was with Ramaphosa and I think it was like what a month and a half back I haven't seen any political leader here in the first and Isma Khashoggi Isma Khashoggi is quiet on the ground too especially here in the first state and Isma Khashoggi we saw Isma Khashoggi too Isma Khashoggi is working so hard on the ground and I think this is what other political parties are missing they think that by going on mainstream media, by doing the interviews with the mainstream media, by not engaging the people on the ground, they are actually working, but they are not working because what the African National Congress is doing always works out for them. If you can work more than the African National Congress on the ground, you can actually get these people out of governance. I think this is what the EFF is also trying to do by going on the ground, or by taking ANC head to head on the ground. Because the, of course you can do the interviews, you can like oh, you you can be on television, you can be on radio. Of course it is fine, but being on the ground is more important. Being on the ground is more important, and I think this is the reason why a lot of people have actually voted for the for, for the EFF. I think this is the reason why most of people have have voted for the EFF because the EFF is on the ground too. The EFF are like other political parties that you only see 
on YouTube or you only see on television, they are on the ground. You would see the EFF members going door to door. I, I engaged the EFF guys who, who, who are doing door to doors a couple of times, the ANC guys a couple of times, the DA guys maybe once, but it was uh, quite a while back. But when it comes to other political parties, these people are nowhere to be found. Just like with Raizam Zanzi. You know Raizam Zanzi is all over the place. You see their posters at every corner in this country. But they are nowhere to be found on the ground. Most of the political parties are nowhere to be found on the ground. So what the African National Congress is doing, it is actually working for them. It is working for them because I can tell you now, Fikile Mbalula being in that block, Fikile Mbalula spending time with the people in their homes, Fikile Mbalula holding these meetings and uh, visiting people in their homes, I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to make a dramatic change for the ANC. Many people are going to vote for the ANC. Even the people who say that, man, I no longer want to vote for the ANC, they are going to vote for the ANC. Because this is how people engage with their leaders. They can feel like, okay, maybe the ANC guys, uh, maybe, maybe there is something there because these people are coming to our homes. We are sitting down. We are having tea with them. We are talking to them. We are telling them about uh, about our troubles. They are, promising, they are promising us things. We know they promised us things in the last election cycle, but it's fine. They are promising us things. But the fact that these people are taking their time and engaging with the community, it says a lot about the ANC compared with other political parties because other political parties are thinking that they're going to take away the power from the ANC using the media and using technology and being on TV or being on radio. And that's not how it works. Well, we've got to ask our people to give us uh, uh, their vote and overwhelming victory for the ANC. You've been an area that has been crying for service delivery for years. You do know what has been happening in the past. There was an appalling concerned citizens and residents. Are you threatened in this area? Uh, you don't campaign because you are threatened. You <coughs> ask for people to vote uh, for the ANC, which is what uh, we've been... Can you feel that? Many people are happy to see the Secretary General of the, of the ANC. Can you hear the noises on the background? Doing for... Uh, you don't campaign because you are threatened. You <coughs> ask for people to vote uh, for the ANC, which is what uh, we've been doing for years, and uh, this is no exception. You don't campaign because there is a threat. You are humbled by the masses of the people. We've been going into the houses of people, talking to them. They've been raising their issues, and they are very much appreciative of the ANC. And uh, also, they give a harsh talk uh, raising also their voices in relation to the challenges that they face. Uh, top of the agenda is uh, unemployment. Uh, young people have graduated, supported by the ANC. What their parents are saying here is that uh, uh, let's focus on the lack of creation of jobs. And that is what our manifesto speaks about. Those are long-standing issues that they have been raising for years that the ANC led government has been struggling for. Uh, challenges will always arise, and uh, they arise. They arise because uh, we too in government are faced with challenges in terms of the underperforming economy, uh, which has not been really uh, uh, one of uh, the strongest uh, uh, points in terms of the past five years. It has been our Achilles heel, and uh, you know the reasons uh, in terms of the underperforming economy, COVID, and all of that. But they were way on track now to ensure that we create 2.5 uh, million uh, job opportunities in the country. From where? <laughs> From where? <laughs> From where? <laughs> These people are talking about... <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about 2.5 million jobs. Musime Mano was talking about 2 million jobs. <laughs> Judas Mano was talking <laughs> about 2 million jobs. <laughs> Can't. And On top it of will, what it, you promised before. Uh, jobs, creation, and the economy is cyclical. Okay. And... Uh, Whoever and whatever happens all the time, the question is, are we able to rise to the occasion? And we are. And that is why uh, this remains a priority, because we live in a society where uh, there is a huge inequality. 
uh, in relation to the economy and the setup of the South African economy. You see, like, this is what I'm talking about. You see the ANC guys going to homes and engaging with people in their homes. Let me remove myself there so you can see this lady. Like this, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, guys, these things matters. These things matters because this is the same thing that the president is doing too. The president is doing door to door. He's sitting down with the people in their homes. He's talking with them. They are telling him about their problems. He's promising them things. But people actually value when they see their leaders sitting down with them in their own homes. Of course, Fikile Mbalula is not going to be able to sit with all the people in, the, in that area. But those couple of houses, it means a lot to the people in that community as a whole. The fact that Fikile Mbalula was sitting here, to these people, it means a lot. It means a lot. I know to you, you might say, man, I don't even want Fikile Mbalula anywhere near my house. It is fine. But the people on the ground, they actually appreciate it when the likes of Fikile Mbalula, the president, or the ministers actually take time and sit with them in their homes, in their neighborhood, and so that they can engage with them in real life. This is what the political parties are not doing. This is, I think, the, the, the only political party that I can say that is trying to take the fight from the ANC is the EFF when it comes to this thing of engaging with people on the ground. You can hear this lady, for the people who cannot understand the sort of thing, that she's happy to see Fikile Mbalula live because the only time she sees Fikile Mbalula is on television. So the people of Fixbeck are happy to see Fikile Mbalula in real life because they, they can only see him on television or on social media. I think the people of Fixbeck are going to make the correct decision. Please make sure of that. Thank you so much. We do have challenges. We will always have challenges. What is important is what we do with them. Because leadership lead because leader leadership has to show. Our councillors and other people who are working for the ANC, they need to work hard. We also know there are challenges like jobs. People are unemployed. That's why we have promised ourselves that this is the most important thing for us to fix. So that people can get jobs. I'm so happy that I am here sitting with you and I'm happy to hear that on the 29th you will be voting. I suppose she will be voting for the NC. Of course she will be voting for the NC. <laughs> 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 we thank you for your support. We thank you for, for your support because we know what makes the ANC what it is today is the people. It's the people's organization. I don't have many words, but I am proud to say that I'm energized. And the encouragement that the ANC needs to work hard. Day in and day out. Guys, political parties, I don't think there's sufficient time for them to, to do this. I don't think that the political parties have enough time to do what the ANC has been doing. But when it comes to campaigning, I don't think other political parties have been doing 
as hard work as the African National Congress, I think other political parties have quite depended on the media, on social media, but they are not so much on the count. So, guys, please tell me what you think of Fikile Mbalula, MK Party, and the African National Congress doing door to door. Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Bye bye.